And I don't know how many of you have ever been to a naturalization ceremony. Many of you in this room actually have been part of a naturalization ceremony. But if you haven't been, I, I, if there's one thing you promised to do coming out of today, it is you've got to go and find one in your community sometime in the next week or two. It is hands down one of the most moving, stirring, powerful things you can experience. And it's filled with, you know, the bureaucracy of the immigration and customs, you know, service being part of the Department of Homeland Security, and there's all that kind of bureaucratic language. But at the end of it, at the heart of it, it is this moment of people claiming this country. Newcomers claiming this country, making those of us who are longstanding Americans appreciate anew, as people have been saying all day long today. Well, our team, actually, Janae Kane from our team, who you met earlier, had a notion a, a year or so ago of, hey, what if we created something like that, a ceremony, a ritual, had a little oath? That was for everybody. That was for all of us, whether longstanding American citizens, brand new Americans, people of whatever documentation status, for all of us to basically renew our vows to declare again, or perhaps to declare for the first time in public among others, that we believe in the promise of this country and that we promise to live up to it. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Patronel Wright and the Total Experience Gospel Choir. <laughs> preceded by Seattle's own Garfield High School drum line. Yeah! We've gone a whole day without noting that it's March Madness and we got a tournament going on. This, was, this day would not be complete without a drum line and singing and this whole kind of sense of tribal celebration. So thank you so much. We're going to close here, as I said, with this idea of being sworn again Americans. And if this were a room of naturalizing immigrants, we would reflect on some words of civic scripture. 
We would think about the ways in which they impact our lives. And then together, we might swear an oath in order that we might be able to exit this room and claim that title citizen. Well, that is exactly what we are going to do today. That is exactly what we're going to do together. And we're going to begin with the promise that this nation makes to itself. From Seattle, Christina Martini. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These truths did not start out self-evident. It took generation upon generation of people just like us to make them so. It is up to us. It is up to us here together to live up to that American proposition every day in every way we can. From Tokyo, Makiko Amagi. It is for us here to be dedicated to the great tasks before us that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. What does it mean for us to govern ourselves? It means for us to take ownership. It means for us to solve problems without waiting for someone else to come along and solve them for us. It means reminding ourselves not only of the content of our character, but the content and the obligations of our citizenship. From Los Angeles, Matessa Green. I have a dream today. I have a dream that all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. Yes, indeed. And in this room, it does ring. It rings loud and true, and it rings in our hearts. And that promise, that proposition, comes not from on high, but from within each of us, from we the people. So let us now make our voices heard. Please now stand. Wherever you may be from, whatever path and journey brought you to this country, to this place, to this room, to this day, please now raise your right hand and read with me this oath. I pledge to be an active American, to show up for others, to help to govern myself, to help govern my community. I recommit myself to my country's creed, to cherish liberty as a responsibility. I pledge to serve and to push my country when right to be kept right, when wrong to be set right. Wherever my ancestors and I were born, I claim America, and I pledge to live like a citizen. Congratulations. You are all sworn again Americans, and you may be seated. I hope you will remember this moment, and I hope you will carry not only this ceremony, which you can easily carry. It's all on a website, swornagainamerica.us. Steal this ceremony. Steal this template. Take it wherever you go to your communities, to your houses of worship, to your family dinners. But more than that, I hope you will take that sensation that you had as you uttered those words and realize, as Wendy Spencer said, we just testified. We testified before one another. We swore that oath only to one another. And only we are going to hold each other to it. Only we are going to decide whether we show up for each other. Only we are going to decide whether Citizen University was a one-day event or a way of life. Only we are going to decide what it means to live like a citizen. So please now join me, Pat Wright and the Total Experience Gospel Choir. In fact, get back on your feet. Join me here as we close together in song. Say that again. 
again. Come on. As I was walking. Stream. 